The evolution of technology is truly astounding. In 2000, we had cumbersome computers and the droning tones of dial-up internet. By 2018, we've reached a point where hundreds of movies can fit on a portable drive and our smartphones let us watch videos, play games, listen to music, and even film our own content. Yet, not everyone is on board with this digital revolution, and I have several telling examples to share. First up, there's the classic grandma who just wants to give her grandkid a bowl, but instead of asking through a personal message, she decided to create a group call, Do you want this bowl? Added her grandkid and then left immediately after granny, Do you or do you not want to offer your bowl? This one is pretty cute. An elderly woman often got confused using her remote control. What would all those buttons press? Luckily for her, her grandkid knew exactly what to do. He covered all the extra buttons and kept the most important ones. Plus, Granny now knows the number to go through BS. Here's a story as explained on Reddit by user DevLotX, who works as a support technician. It was a time when the iPhone X had just been released and a female executive assistant really, really wanted it. She requested to have her old iPhone replaced, but she didn't get the iPhone X, and since she wouldn't stop until she got what she wanted, she hurled her replacement iPhone down the stairs so she could make another request. This time, however, camera footage revealed her wrongdoing. So she got the boot instead of the iPhone X. That's one selfish employee who definitely shouldn't be allowed technology. CG took a nice photo of his badminton racket, but then he got completely dumbfounded. He was looking for the W in the shadow of the racket, but it was nowhere to be found. Well, Chu, here's a clue. Understand what makes a shadow a shadow. Here's a meeting of two eras. Those olden days of having no source of light other than candles and the current age of expensive Apple products. However, I think the two got a little too close to each other. Remember, it's important to respect personal space, even if it's a laptop. Love comes in many forms, but this one clearly isn't one of them. Just look at her. Look at how she's practically struggling to keep her eyes closed. The mirror's reflection reveals her pathetic attention-seeking attempt. I think I'm not the only one curious to know whether she actually has a boyfriend or not. Whoever did this probably thought they'd figured out how to get unlimited energy. Unfortunately, this isn't how power works, and if you think otherwise, you shouldn't be allowed anywhere near electricity. Here's another case of badly executed power outputs. Did he not see the two power outlets? Nothing's plugged in those two, and yet somebody thought, well, I'll make a fine rebel for today and not use the charger in the correct manner. Yeah, that'll show them. I don't mind seeing family members show me how much they care for each other online. Well, maybe except for this one. Melody uploaded what seems to be an ordinary selfie of her. Nothing unusual, someone named Jim tells her she's sexy again. Nothing wrong with showing appreciation, then Melody replied, and it got awkward instantly. This is so adorable that I don't even want to correct her. At the Soki 2014 Olympics, this woman wanted to snap a photo of a hockey game. She seems so focused, but maybe it's because she can't see the view properly since she's viewing it the other way around, and just for a moment, she was the highlight of that game. Okay, here's another story for you. This time from Reddit, user Dirty R and the boys, he's part of tech support, and one lady began screaming at them for supposedly crashing her computer. When he checked the computer, the damage was nothing but a screensaver. Yeah, the lady didn't know how a screensaver worked. The microwave oven has made preparing food easier than ever. Likewise, phones have improved our lives more than we can imagine. The problem, however, is when gullible people online are told that one can recharge the other. If your phone needs to get charged, get a battery or charger. Do not place it in the microwave. I get it. You love food. However, could you not bring this to class? It might look like another chunky gaming laptop, but the scent of leftover food will soon travel around the lecture room and you will get caught. Good luck trying to finish your writing project with that device. Oh look, she took a selfie but sent it in the traditional way. Instead of sending it through MMs, she decided to print the photo and have it mailed to her recipient. Maybe she wants to embrace technology, but she just can't let go of the nostalgic allure of snail mail. I think whoever printed this took the term screenshot and print screen too. 
Literally, instead of using the screenshot function, this aunt decided to take an actual photo of the text message, then print a black and white physical copy of it. She, it's like she doesn't want the convenience technology provides in the first place. Is this an example of online gaming or a sports? Will I admit that this is technically a game conducted online? However, I don't think this is a game you can play fair and square. You literally just have to wait for your emoji and then respond with the winning emoji. Thanks for the challenge though, grandma. It's nice of you to ask for help from your grandkid regarding your lighty phone, but I think there's a huge problem here. Why on earth do you have a seemingly infinite number of tabs about the weather in Loveland and Fort Collins? Are you a time wizard checking the weather of the same place in totally different universes? Learn to close them. Grandma, you know it's really easy to use Google. Just type whatever you want in the search bar, but this person clearly doesn't understand how to use it since they're just typing the questions publicly to the Google search app page on Facebook. Of course, this was going to happen sooner or later. Granny was worried that a computer got busted. Nothing was moving in the right direction, and that's bad because Apple products aren't exactly cheap to have repaired. Luckily, and funnily enough, it turns out the problem is the mouse being placed in the opposite position. Yes, this happened in real life. There are two possible explanations here. First, he can't read the text, so he zoomed in. The second would be if he accidentally zoomed in and is having a difficult time going back to the default screen size. If it's the latter, I do hope that someone offered some help. I think the aunt who literally prints text conversations and this father should meet up. See, this dude's dad doesn't know how to text using his flip pump. So if he wants to ask something, he writes on a piece of paper, takes a photo of it, and sends it as a multimedia message. You do, you dad, grandma. I know you have some burning questions. You need to be answered as quickly as possible but you have to know that I am not the embodiment of Google. I can use Google, but I can't comprehend things the way Google does. So please don't just randomly text me about rug stains and poo. I prefer not to know, but I'm definitely wearing shoes next time I visit. This is painful to watch. A guy visited his girlfriend and saw that her grandma was using something unusual in the kitchen when he took a closer look. Behold, Granny used an iPad as a cutting board. Either she was truly clueless or she's an Android fan. Maybe this is what it truly means to have a fancy dinner. First of all, why? You've managed to write a document complete with proper format. Does this mean you haven't committed a typing mistake until now? Perhaps just, perhaps this is a sneaky way to advertise that liquid eraser. Just look at its placement. I see what you're doing, advertisers. This is an instant classic an old man found what he thinks is a mobile phone, so he goes to a phone store and asks for help in operating the gadget. Well, it turns out that what he found was a scientific calculator and certainly not a phone. Imagine the confusion of the people working at the store. What's even funnier is how you can see that the old man has a phone tucked in, or is it another calculator? But seriously, if he makes these sorts of mistakes, he might accidentally mistake a C4 explosive for a lasagna and put it in the oven. These two holes might look like they're made for those connectors, but believe me when I say they're absolutely meant for something else. So don't be surprised when your speaker doesn't work or the TV monitor isn't clearly displaying your favorite channel. Is this what people refer to as a multi-purpose product? I know you all don't want to get sick and all, but are laptops the best alternative to umbrellas? Also look closely. It looks like the girl has some sort of scarf hanging on her shoulder bag. Is that only for decorative purposes? There's something wrong with how grandma uses Google search, but it seems right at the same time. Maybe she thinks Google's a sentient being that deserves to be treated with respect, or maybe this is her predicting the development of virtual voice assistants that talk to people. A girl kept complaining that her phone wasn't displaying the right time, but the culprit wasn't. Some software problem after all, you know about those phones that are put on display in stores, those with fake buttons and screens. Yep, it's kind of like that she simply forgot to remove the plastic cover all this time. So this father didn't know how to remove the heart-shaped selfie feature when taking photos, so he just kept it there. 
even when sending photos of his oven. Maybe he just wants to spread the love. This makes me cringe because I've had a similar looking browser about 10 years ago, but I don't know what's worse here, to be honest. Is it the fact there are so many unnecessary lag inducing toolbars crowding the browser or that the mother using this prefers Internet Explorer over Google Chrome? I mean, come on, this is too adorable. A 90-year-old grandmother from Japan couldn't clearly read the text on her smartphone, but instead of zooming in on the phone using your fingers, she uses a handy-dandy magnifying glass. The goal is achieved, but the approach is entirely different and well old-fashioned. Have you ever had your computer freeze on you? Yeah, I know it's totally annoying, especially when you're doing something important, like finishing a project or watching a cute cat video on YouTube. This old man, however, thought that his PC literally got frozen, so he used a blow dryer. So, as you've seen, people can have the money to buy the latest gadgets, but you can't guarantee they'll know how to use them properly. Which person failed the most at technology? Let me know in the comments down below, and if you've enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe. Till next time, thanks for watching.